Bravo 6. Going dark. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Gladstone, Gladstone Gaming. Gaming. Now, you know, Jane, have you ever thought about, you know, like, if you could go watch the E3? Have I ever oh. thought about it? <laughs> of course. Okay. It's like a gamer's hub. Yeah, you know, true. imagine if we had something like that in the Pacific. Oh, imagine the possibilities. Yeah, man, you know, like, I, if, if that was true, yeah. I would like to make a game by myself and, like, release it in the local E3. You know, but, like, what game would you, would you make? Hmm, like, if I was to make a game, I'd make a game about, like, grogging and, you know, like, the main guy has to fight Kani Kani to, like, reach to his friend's house and grog some more to go to the next level. You know, that would actually become a hit, but, like, you know, how about you You make it so such as your camera, your camera, your character, <laughs> character is character. grogging at your friend's house. Yeah. And then through all the dopeness, the challenge is to try and make it home. But a little twist to make it more harder mm. is you have to make it home before the curfew. Oh. And then, you know how like little games, you have the final boss? Right, And the right. final boss is your wife. Oh, yeah, yeah, with one, you know, the roti Ooh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> ready to go. Man, that actually would work. Yeah, eh? it would. You know, but anyway, <laughs> speaking of the local life, before we check out a game I've been playing. I just wanted to do a quick shout out to Isaiah uh, Tambay Walu, sorry, for always being the first yeah. to watch our videos on exactly. YouTube, you know. Thanks for the support and to all of you who have been checking out our YouTube page. And subscribing. Right, right, right. So anyway, this game is called Stardew Valley, so I thought I'd show everyone. Check it out. Now, Stardew Valley is an amazing game. So, you've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. Armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins, you set out to begin your new life. Can you learn to live off the land and turn these overgrown fields into a thriving home? You know, it won't be easy. Ever since Georgia Corporation came to town, the old ways of life have all been disappeared. The community center, once the town's most vibrant hub of activity, now lies in shambles. But the valley seems full of opportunity. With a little dedication, you might just be the one to restore Stardew Valley to greatness.
Now with multiplayer, invite one to three players to join you in the valley. Players can work together to build a thriving farm, share resources and build relationships with townspeople or each other. As more hands are better than one, players have the option to scale profit margin on produce sold for a more challenging experience. All in all, this is a great game to try. I've never been so hyped up about manual labor in my life until that game. <laughs> true so, yeah. true so. Now I know this game is just a couple of uh, years old, but the nostalgic mm. feel surrounding yeah. it is amazing. And the yeah. fact that the music for this was all single-handedly done by the creator, yeah. you know, is simple yet majestic. Wow, well, like me. Not, <laughs> Not really. But you know, you're right. Is that the creator made everything in the game by yeah. himself. The music, the art, the gameplay, just yeah. everything was all done by himself. And the cool thing is, is that you can have your own little farm and yeah. help the community. Like there's a story around it. Eh? Yeah. But there's also like caves and monsters that you can explore. Yeah. That's what makes it so cool. Mm -hmm. So like anyone, for whoever wants to try it out, give it a go. And if you guys create your own little farm, yeah. drop us pics and we'll show it on TV. You know? No? Exactly. Yeah. But also, stick around because Tony and I will be uh, telling you more on the games you need to keep on your watch list. Nice.